Welcome back to the morning show here on XL7. Uh, it's Friday morning and a smidge late. But smidge late. <laughs> it is time for this week in real estate. I had to kind of change the screen because usually we have guest Bob Zador of the Z team, and it kind of weird because I didn't want to put guest host. So I just put Bob Zador on there. <laughs> <laughs> We're fine. Guys yeah, yeah, we are. Coach is That's here. That's okay. Yeah. Coach is here. <laughs> We're but, stalling. We're good. Well, yeah, we're, we're going to talk a little bit about real estate and different things. And uh, like we started this morning talking about um, how much you guys are involved in the community and yes, how much of a difference that makes when you're looking at a realtor. And people don't necessarily know, you know, they, they go to a place and they're visiting or they're whatever. And when you call a, a realtor that's that involved as you guys are, you guys can explain how it is to live here. Because well, we've me, done that's it. See, that's the whole thing. We've done it. We've made yep. that move. We've moved from the big city. We've come here. We've changed. And we've moved a couple times since we've been here. We've lived in different places, had different experiences, and we can help people um, to find that, help people to you know, live, live their dream. And that's the thing, when you're, when you're looking at retiring and you're, you're looking at moving here or wherever it is, you need to know what it's like to live there. Yep. You know, you need to be happy where you're at, you know, and, and sometimes taking a vacation, you don't really get the full grasp of everything because, you know, you're, you're doing your little things that you do, whether it be fishing or hiking or whatever, and everything seems fun, but you need to know what it's like to actually live here. And sure. you've made that change. And, oh, yeah. And that helps when, uh, you know, people are looking at that and you can kind of explain and drive them around and, you know, here's our, here's our nightlife. This is what we've got. This, this is it. This is it. This is it. Yeah. You know, but um, to me, I I couldn't be happier to live here. I mean, this is this is. Well, it's the best God's thing country. that ever happened to us. Yeah. God's country. And Jason's happy too. God's country. I mean, that's that's a deal. That is a deal. And it it's kind of, I always find it kind of funny as a, you know a lot of the kids growing up here will you know go to college and kind of move out and for long they're trying to come back. <laughs> but you need to live a little. I get it. You, well, know, you should. Yes. You should, because sometimes we get too insulated here, and, yep. and we forget that there is a whole other world out there that, <laughs> uh, that, we're, that is affected by things that we do here. More, we're affected by what goes on out there. We think yep. that we're, you know, we're, in our, we're in our cocoon, and we all feel safe here, but there is another world out there. Yeah, there so is. It's, um, it's, it can be challenging for some people, like you say, <laughs> not enough shopping, not enough things to do. Uh, you mean you, you run up to Springfield for a day? Run up and have you know, we'll go to Eureka Springs and have lunch. Just take a ride because the rides are nice. That's a bigger part of it. People don't realize, you know, when you tell them it's an hour and a half drive, they're like they're thinking like trying to get from South Side of Chicago to O'Hare Airport. And it's, yeah. you know, it's all trucks and, and everything. Yeah. You're just looking at spend an hour and a half and in traffic. Else. Yeah, uh, and that's not the case here. We. Um, we don't think anything had taken a quick jaunt. I, during COVID, we'd run up to Culver's and get, you know, because everything was to go. And we'd drive up to Culver's just to get out of the house and see stuff and get some ice cream, a burger, and go from there just to change. Yeah, I mean, then that's, you get used to that here. And, and it's something that you will, uh, to me, I enjoy if a trip to Branson. It's nothing. It's a beautiful yeah. scenery. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, you're not going to have a whole lot of traffic. You know, you have a couple of towns where you're going to run into a little bit. But, I mean, for the most part, it's the scenery. It's the drive. It's the... Exactly. I it's took a drive journey. yesterday to M M Marble. You know where Marble is. There's yeah. a little gas station there. I was meeting a guy over there. So, took a drive over to Marble and just kind of enjoyed my drive and my trip over. And that's just how it is to live here. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> and, and, it's, and it's great. To, it, we're, we're happy to be here. We're happy to, to help all the people that we've helped. Uh, we look forward to helping new people. I mean, every day is a, a new challenge, trying to help them find the right home for the right time of their life to be able to bring them into the community. Uh, and some, some people to not bring them in and talking to them and seeing how what it is they're looking for and to be able to just tell them. That's something that we can't really help you with. We don't have that here. And to, and to be up front with them, and it's never, you know, we've, we've never been in a situation of, well, you better buy this house, we, or you better, yeah. you know. I, I, we help people make good, informed decisions, and that's the most important thing that we do, helping you make the decision 
whether you're planning on leaving, you've got uh, you're t trying to downsize, you're moving out because you got a better job, you've got your reason. So all of a sudden, you realize you got kids, and and, they, uh, and the house that the little two bedroom that you bought to begin with, now you need a three bedroom. You need some place to be able to put a set of bunk beds in. Whatever the situation is, and we're here to help people, and we help people with that every day. Linda, myself, Sam McMaster, Darlene Clark, Reese Tubbs, April Bentley, we are here as a team to do that, to, be, to help people get to where it is they want to be, and that's, that's just so important. And we've been doing this for a while. I mean, no, I wasn't born here. I can't take lineage back to a long time ago. Um, but I can say that in the 20 years that we've been here, we it's been a good full 20 years we've been very active in the community like scooter was saying we're involved in different a bunch of different social things uh, i'm on the chamber of Com the board of directors at the chamber of commerce we've been members of the chamber of commerce pretty much since we started uh it's just been it's been a good community to be part of and like I say, we get up in the morning and take a look out the window and go, thank you, Jesus, that, uh, for getting us here and getting me out of the city. And uh, I had told some guys a while ago uh, when I was at the United Center, I went back up for a hockey game and I, I saw them and I told them, I says, I'll live 10 more years down in Mountain Home as opposed to if I stay up. And not just 10 years, but 10 good years. I can see that. here. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, there's no question. I can see that. No question. Yeah, I've lived in a lot of areas, and, and uh, Illinois was one of them, uh, Bullenburg, Illinois, and then yes. Memphis, Tennessee, and man, it, it does feel like it, your life, life is different here oh, than at the bigger cities and the, the pressure and the hustle and bustle and sure. everything that's on you, you know, and I, I, I love that aspect. I, I really, really do. Yeah, we drove, we were down in Biloxi last weekend, and we went to, I drove some of the family over to New Orleans who had never mm -hmm. been to New Orleans. And the traffic was horrendous. LSU was playing, and that was actually Veterans Day was being celebrated at Friday. So it was a three-day weekend for a lot of people, and it was packed. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I remember why I left. <laughs> so I ended up in a parking spot. I, I dropped them off, and I ended up in a, in a parking spot, a tow zone, and I just sat there in the car. I said, when you're ready, call me. I drove Let me know. Bit, picked them up, and we... There you go. We went back and took care of the rest of our thing. You got a little peace of mind in the meantime I, and I chill. Did. It worked out that, great. They, they saw things that they hadn't seen before. That was the important part. Um, but but the, to, to get back to why we're here and what we do and, and how we do it. You know, we run our business is about helping you make good decisions, whether you're buying, selling, um, showing numbers of houses. And the numbers of houses are up. Uh, there's over 300 houses on the market right now, and we haven't seen that for some time. So there's a little more competition in some areas. Uh, sometimes it's just better to have people that want to come to look at houses. They want to see more houses rather than fewer. So that's part of it is uh, working out. Interest rates are dropped this past week. Uh, Chris sent me a, um, and I had it, and I lost it. Oh, this thing is making me nuts. <laughs> <sighs> Gotta love technology. Ah, yes, indeed. Uh, Chris sent me, Chris and sorry, friend of the show, friend of ours. Uh, the interest rates this week for a 30 year fixed are uh, 6.87 with the 1% origination fee. But uh, for the VA, FHA, and rural development, they're all at 6.37 with 1% down. So, that's, yeah, they did come that, down That's some. down quite a bit. So yeah. I think that we'll see some pressure on the houses again, that that 300 number will probably fall behind that because the mortgage applications are up as well. And I think that we'll continue along that path of um, is the rates drop a little bit, more of the houses will get sucked back up because there's a big, there's still a big demand and, and in other places because we're reliant to a large part for people coming here from other places to buy the and, the, and a lot of the have. demands waiting on the interest rates. See what they do. Right. If they drop a little bit, yeah, they're going to start yeah. gobbling it up. Because you can maybe you can you afford the the six seven a little easier than you could yeah. the eight as far as waiting and holding that mortgage long enough to be able to refinance it. That makes a big difference right now. How are the numbers? 
Without but further since ado. We're, since we're rolling right into yes, it. Yes, we are. <laughs> uh, this week in real estate, there were 46 new listings came on the market, two commercial properties, 16 parcels of land. 28 homes came on the market, and they ranged in price from 89000 to 729000 and four are taken backups again. Uh, there were 40 sales, one commercial property, 11 parcels of land, 28 homes sold. They ranged in price from 40000 to 449000 um, There was a glitch with the computer, and I got to call her about that today. Uh, seven properties expired, 20 had price changes, and there were 40, and we still have 41 pending waiting, residential pendings waiting to close. Currently, there's 319 homes on the MLS. Those are homes that you can walk in and buy. Uh, right now, they're not under contract or anything else. Year to date, for 2023, there's been 958 homes have sold. Uh, the average sale price this year is $228,000 with 86 days on market. For 2022, there had been 1,070 homes that sold for an average sale price of 220,000 with 79 days on market. Uh, for 2021, there'd been 1,151 sales with an average sale price of 200. Um, and, and we've been in the thousands going back. But the average sale price has gone up every year over the past five years. People want to come here. You know, They want to be in God's country. They want to join in the fun. And uh, everybody gets to come here and start their own life. You can start all over again. You can be anything you I wanted like to that. be. I had no idea that I would be selling real estate and helping people make life-changing decisions. Uh, but it, <laughs> but I think you can look back now and say that was one of the best decisions. Oh, it, well, oh, it was. No, no question. But I and think for that, the community, I, I think that part of part of my skill set is the police and working at the United Center at the old stadium and things like that and dealing with people the way I did that uh, that really has helped us to get to where we are now and my honey helps us to get there more than anything oh, else yeah. so she's you, the one that we talk about the little feet under right. the water that's that's, that's her right. you see the duck just going <laughs> like this but that's what legs are going like crazy down below <laughs> that's my honey that's her give her a call call linda she's at 870-405-0793 uh, check out the website retire to arkansas.net and um buying, selling, whatever it is you're looking to do. She's done a, a number of good-sized commercial projects as well. Um, she's trying to spread her wings a little farther because she doesn't have enough to do. She needs to keep taking on more projects. So, she's but, the type that would have to be busy. Yeah, of she course. Would, she would go nuts. We're, we're down in Biloxi, and we're kind of, you know, it's kind of like a retirement area down there, too. And just kind of, well, what do you think about retirement? I says, I don't think about retirement at all because I know it's <laughs> never going to happen. <laughs> Give her a call. 870-405-0793. And we'll be right back right after this. Coach is here, ready to go. Be right back. <laughs> 